In today's video, we are going to be testing out the mags of holding on the Morse sniper rifle. Now, I know this has probably been done. People have probably tested it out, but I haven't. Yeah. Also, mags of holding are such an interesting concept to me. I think it's just basically like the ring of fire in disguise. So I wanted to hop in and check out the Morse sniper rifle because not only is the Morse sniper rifle like one of my favorite weapons from Call of Duty history, also it has the really cool feature of when it's packed a punch it essentially becomes explosive so that definitely gravitated me towards trying to test it out and checking out how it does now i did go in with i guess a tiny bit of a build it's nothing too crazy if you're wondering i had for the barrel the crown 50 barrel and then for stock it was the icarus light stock and then lastly it was the op 980 grip it's basically one of the first attachments that you unlock because this bad boy is still not fully complete after this game that i played it definitely did do pretty good so hopping in i tested it out and honestly obviously it was doing really good in tier one and tier two it was killing them instantly but what do we want to check out we wanted to hop into tier three and check out how good this thing was and honestly one of the coolest things about this thing but also one of the downsides is that explosive effect that it has and the reason it was a downside is because when i was shooting these zombies and since you know mags of holding essentially just gives you completely infinite ammo until you run out it combines your magazine and your reserve all together it was kind of nuts with all of the cloud and smoke it created now i do really really like also the addition of the fact that these explosions do not damage you so you don't even have to have phd on you so i didn't have to worry about that and just running around tier 3 with this explosive is ridiculously fun now did it kill the zombies straight away no but if you spam it enough it will kill them now i didn't really struggle with ammunition and one of the things that i decided to test out was the stash objective to see how easy that was and oh my god this thing just made life so much easier with that objective so if you ever want to just have a chill kind of experience i do really recommend hopping with the morse and just you know mags of holding if you have them by any chance like the schematic already built or if you played the mission and you just have them on you i definitely recommend using it on the moors now moving on to the bosses side of things the first boss that it did go up against or i guess a mini boss was a disciple and it was kind of like annoying and difficult to take down later on i did fight it and it wasn't too big of a pain it is just depending on the angle and like the way you shoot it obviously the head will give it the most damage mimics wise it was taking them out relatively easily and it wasn't anything Thing incredibly difficult and then moving on all the way over to the mangler it also wasn't anything too difficult or too easy it just felt like kind of like a weapon that i thought would do what it did honestly to what the mangler was and now moving on to the mega abomination this is where things kind of got interesting it was a bit of a pain to shoot the mega abomination with this thing at first i took out its mouth almost instantaneously and it took a lot of damage and i was like oh my god is this weapon going to be incredible on it i was instantly really excited to see but unfortunately it seems like i just got really lucky with one of my shots now since it is explosive and you angle your gun correctly you will be able to shoot it i do also recommend potentially having a different scope than the default one because each time i aimed down with this thing my god my screen was freaking out which was kind of difficult to shoot the mega abomination and i did end up actually running out of ammo when i was fighting it because obviously before i was just running around and shooting zombies left right center and I, they were just constantly dropping me ammunition which is obviously one of the things that you will be on the lookout for but with the mega i did struggle with that so the mega abomination took a while to kill just because of the ammo issue so if you by any chance have ammo and can get away from it fast enough before it shoots you with the laser beam which i did counter it once and then i wasn't able to counter it a second time and i did go down and then i had to hide in a building so maybe that's another reason why it was so difficult to take it down but hey at the end of the day i did it and it wasn't definitely the greatest thing to use in the mega so if you were looking for a better weapon the morse is not it at least not yeah no and i would actually really recommend for you to use the morse with the infinite ammo mags of holding just because it's so fun and it made zombies less kind of stressful and more casual overall explosives in this game have always been good and it was just fun it was fun to run around shoot the ground and one of the last things i want to talk about it was definitely one of the most fun experience to go to the xfil site and just rack up that xp it was insane so if you're on the hunt for getting levels of any kind for the morse itself or if it's just for your character 
character this thing is insane and it just made me wonder imagine this thing with the old horde system style that we did have in like the launch of this game on the exfil sites oh my god this thing would have been incredible but late game exfils do feel a bit more chaotic and i was in tier 2 and it was so fun that i decided to stay back and just do it all again because i was just having way too much fun shooting those zombies with explosives and killing them with ease specifically just because it was pack a punch three times and gold rarity which is obviously the version of the weapon that i've been using so i guess that's something i forgot to mention to take that into consideration that's what i was using but yeah that's kind of it it was definitely fun i definitely recommend it and the highlights were probably just the fact that it's explosive so I'll shoot your feet and you can survive with ease and the mags of holding are truly a blessing to this game they are so fun to use so if you want me to test out any specific weapons if you know any weapon that's incredible with the mags of holding i already have a few ideas i'll be probably covering them this definitely did kind of like re-spark a bit of fun for this game that i was able to refine which is some of the things that i was looking for from modern warfare zombies specifically with uh the roadmap that we have for season four is not looking very content filled so you know it's finally my time to try to catch up with all the things that i've missed because i did miss out on a bit of this game just because of college but we are back so there this was definitely fun check it out yourself and i'll see you guys next one peace out mm -hmm.